For those of you thinking that, this is not clickbait. We have been staying in the French Alps for six weeks already and we haven't had to pay a single cent for accommodation. We are Sarah and Marek. For the past few years we've been saving up to go travelling and we finally set off to travel full time. Currently we are lucky enough to be in the French Alps, staying in a little mountain village called Saint Marie. We've been here for the past six weeks and have loved every moment. We were even fortunate enough to spend our first white Christmas here together. Stay tuned to find out how we've been staying here for the past six weeks for free. Subscribe and come along for our budget adventures. How's it everybody and welcome back to our channel. We're sure you're all wondering how on earth we are staying here for free. So we'll tell you guys. We have been working two days a week in exchange for free accommodation and food on the days that we work. So this has all been made possible through the organization that we form part of and that is WorkAway. We know that there are a lot of WorkAway opportunities out there and not all of them are as amazing as this one. So we are so, so grateful that we found this one. In this week's video, we're going to take you guys on a tour and show you exactly what work we've been getting up to to afford us to live in this amazing way. So our mornings generally start with this being our first job or activity for the day and that is the feeding of the sheep and the chickens and we also get to collect some fresh chicken eggs which we also are allowed to eat so that's lovely. This is me and this is Ka. Ka has just jumped over the fence, she's really excited for breakfast so we're going to feed them now and just get her back inside there. <laughs> So an important part of every day is to give the animals fresh water because it gets so cold there during the night, their water literally freezes every single night. So this is what we have to do to make sure that this happens. As you can see, this is all the leftovers of all the water that is frozen during the night. Okay, so that's that chore done for the day. We managed to get about four eggs, nice fresh eggs. So we're gonna wash those up and pop them in the fridge and we'll get on to our next job for the day. So the job that has kept us busy for most of our time here is cleaning all the rooms in this place. 
and it's not just a normal clean. We've been instructed to do a deep clean. So that basically involves getting down into the corners and cleaning out the dirt that nobody would ever see. And this is the amount of rooms that we've had to clean during our time here. Now I just have to mention as well, each room has a bathroom. So yeah, just think about that. So now for the cleaning, we have our trusty white cloth to dry any surfaces that we've cleaned. We have our trusty green or blue cloth and that is used for the bedrooms and the pink cloth is used for the bathrooms. My two main weapons of choice, the pink goes with the pink cloth in the bathroom and the see-through goes with the blue cloth in the bedroom. Let's take you for a bit of a tour and show you everywhere we have to clean. So this is the bathroom. This has been my stomping ground for the past month. So what we've been instructed to do is to clean this entire bathroom across the whole place from the floor right up until the ceiling. And most times we have to make use of this little nail brush right here. We have to get in and look for any sort of dirt around the bathroom. So that usually entails scrubbing right in between the tiles, scrubbing the walls, even cleaning the windows in the grooves and everything. And after a long day of scrubbing walls, your arms honestly feel like they want to fall off. And just to add more to that, we then have to tackle and give a deep clean to this bad boy right here. <laughs> Cleaning can get rather monotonous. So we've decided to come up with a bit of a challenge to make this more interesting for both ourselves and for you guys. What we're gonna to try to do is come up with as many shots as we can to clean this one single toilet. So what we want you guys to do is jump down into the comments below and let us know how many shots you think we can come up with. We'll give you guys a few seconds to come up with it. Cue the elevator music. All right, the votes are in. Let's get cracking. <laughs> So now that Marek has given you guys that very interesting tour of the bathroom, let's show you guys around the rooms. So for the cleaning of the rooms, we've got shelves, we've got little cabinets, we've got to wipe everything down. Once again, just look for dirt everywhere, every crack and crevice. We've got to wipe down the beds. We've got to look on the walls as well, if there are any marks or stains. Sometimes there are other things on the wall. So they have kids camps here sometimes and you know kids they lie on the bed they maybe pick their nose a little and they don't know where to put the burger so then the walls are out there right so it's on there sometimes and dry and crusty and it needs to be soaked off and wiped away which is always fun but um, if I ever feel low from the cleaning, obviously cleaning is not the most glamorous job out there. You just take a look at this incredibly beautiful view and it's all so worth it. But let's get back to that room tour. So other things that we do around here are putting covers on the beds. So like this cover right here. Another thing that we do is just looking around and seeing if anything's broken. If we can fix stuff, then we try to fix it. So this is a little drawer. It's got a loose um, knob on it. We would just tighten it with a screwdriver. Um, and 
any other things that are broken sometimes these drawers are literally falling apart and we have to glue them back together other than that that's pretty much the work that we do in the rooms so we've got a little bit more cleaning to do here and then once we're done with that we'll take you guys and show you the next job that we get up to So another one of our responsibilities around here is to keep the pathways clear, especially the emergency fire exit pathways. Those ones are really important to keep clear of snow. And although it hasn't snowed in like a week, we still have to make sure that when snow finds its way onto the pathways and sort of melts onto here, it's really important to try and clear it as quickly as possible because the more times the snow melts and then refreezes during the night, the harder it is to clear. So if we clear it now, we're just saving ourselves much more time later on. And it's also really important to wear our nifty sunglasses when we're out here doing this work because it is extremely bright out here. You could compare it to holding like a blank white piece of paper in direct sunlight and just staring at that for as long as we're clearing snow and snow brandis is real guys it's really bright out here and after a while you struggle to see things if you don't wear the right sunglasses but i am procrastinating now so <laughs> time to get back to shoveling that snow <laughs> So snow in South Africa is not a thing. So whenever we used to watch winter movies and we used to see people shoveling snow, it always used to look so picturesque and so idyllic. You know, just going outside, spending a bit of time outside, shoveling some snow. I mean, how fun is that? But since being here, we have learned the harsh reality of shoveling snow and that it is extremely hard so shortly before we arrived there was a massive snowstorm that fell and we got thrown right into the deep end of it and we had to shovel snow that was honestly about this thick we're kicking ourselves a bit for not doing more filming during that time but we managed to whip out the cameras just for a little bit and this is what it looked like during that time So you look at the snow and although it's that deep, you think to yourself like, oh, do you know, it's all fine, it's all powdery, it's gonna be light, but you don't actually see what's hiding beneath the surface. And beneath the surface, just a little bit below that was a thick layer of ice. So we literally spent almost two days clearing out this ice, chipping away at it, trying to break up as much as we can. And after a while, after hours of doing this, you can feel your hands and your arms are stinging from the constant battering of doing this. But we actually have had a lot of fun doing this and it has been quite a good workout as well and just a very cool experience for us. So unfortunately we won't be able to tell you guys and show you our last task for the day as we always do this under the cover of darkness. But that involves just going out at every evening 
at seven o'clock and making sure that the chickens are in bed. They generally are pretty good, but we have had a couple of times where they are out running around in this time and we just have to usher them to bed. But while we finish up and clear the ice, let's hand you back to our sponsors who will most likely be doing some sort of a walking into scene shot who will give you the final few words for this video. So that's it for this week's video guys. We really hope that you enjoyed it and got some value out of this. We hope that we've given you guys some ideas on how to travel on a budget. And if you guys would like to find out a bit more about Workaway, we have made a video explaining everything about Workaway and we will link that in the description below. Another link that we'll put in the description is our personalized Workaway link and that's a link that you can use to sign up for Workaway. If you use our link, you'll be helping us by extending our yearly subscription at no extra cost to you. So once again, if you guys enjoyed this video and got value out of it, please smash that like button. You guys can pop any questions in the comments below and subscribe for more travel videos and travel budget tips going forward. And we'll see you guys back this coming Tuesday.